What's happening, fam? LA All Movement still moving. The pastor who shot his church member. I'm just using this as an example, really. So, you know, earlier in the week, there was a pastor who was in the news for shooting one of, his, one of the members of his congregation for running up in the church with a brick to fuck the pastor up for getting his wife pregnant, I believe. See, I don't like people like that, Pastor. You walking around with a gun because you're doing dirt and you don't want to be confronted on the dirt that you've done. Okay. So, if you wouldn't have fucked the guy's wife, you wouldn't have needed a gun, right? Pastor. If you wouldn't have, even if you would have fucked the guy's wife, if you would have fucked the guy's wife and used protection and not got her pregnant, he might not have known about it. I doubt it, but pastor. But if, but you fucked the guy's wife, don't use protection and get her pregnant, and then you're mad that the, that the husband finds out and they said, when I find you, I'm going to kick your ass. Oh, I need a gun. I got, to, I got to protect myself. You didn't protect yourself from STDs, motherfucker. Like, you didn't protect yourself from not being in this situation by saying no. Now, if you want to say you made that mistake and the guy find out... You want to kick your ass? You might just have to take that ass with. I mean, using the wrong. If I was in the wrong, and a woman's husband came to me, say, "Look, you fuck my wife, I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna have to beat your ass." You know what? You got me. You owe me one. Really can't. Really can't get too mad about that. That's a situation that I created by overstepping a boundary that I shouldn't have, by crossing the line I shouldn't have crossed. But People like this are bothersome. How dare you confront me for fucking you over? Who the hell you think you is? Okay. Well, so if the pastor gets life, 25 years, or whatever, is it, well, how were you born? Well, my, well, it's a difficult story. And, and I go back. The wife. Now, you can't make a lie up. Like, there is no story that you can come up with. Like, you can't make no shit up. Like, you can't. Like, you can't. Well, my husband is dead because I got caught fucking the past and I got pregnant by him. And now, the pastor shot my husband for wanting to kick his ass. And now I'm having the pastor's baby. And the pastor's probably going to go to jail. And I'm, I'm with, I, don't know what to, I don't know what to tell my child. I guess, I mean, you really don't have to tell your child nothing because it's all public information. Now, nah, they're going to figure it out eventually. That's my mama. That's my daddy. My mama was married before. Hmm. She's a widow. Oh. And I was conceived. Oh. And that's why my daddy's in jail. Huh. See, some people create situations and they can't stand on them. I don't understand that. You just can't stand on them. Whatever. You, you can't say, yeah, I did it. Why not? I mean, you did it. You're willing to really take someone's life because you don't want to deal with the consequences of fucking up theirs. Well, you will reap what you sow for that. You know? I, stupid shit. And another thing, there will come a point
where people like this will have no other choice but to suffer. Like, there ain't no whether life makes you suffer, whether, pe whether other people make you suffer. There will not be a, a free pass for this type of shit, man. It just won't. I mean, what you, what you want to say? Like, you was in the right? Like, like explain how you could be in the right. I was, I was, I was weak, and, yeah, I understand. You know what, I, I, I understand you, you had a moment, you caved into that moment, and that, that, that says you don't have remorse, though. That's what it says, like, I, I, I don't regret what I did because I'm walking around with a gun, because I, because I'm doubling down on it, like, yeah, I did it. Yeah, I didn't. If you come here looking for me, I'm gonna put one of these things in you. And this is who was quote unquote teaching or following or leading the flock. And sometimes, because of people like this, I often wondered about the religious. The, the, the Christian community is this really the reason why churches are empty or absent of men is this the reason because a lot of people a lot of Christians or church people who, are, who I've met you have you kind who are good 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 people and then you have your kind who are Shepherds for the devil. And the good people, actions and hearts and minds always do something positive for someone else. The ones that are shepherds for the devil always in some fuck shit and trying to use the Bible as a justification for it. And I think this is part of what, what, what has turned some people off to church. And this is part of what brought some people to the church because, you know, some people f felt like, you know, this place has no boundaries. It really has no, no, no code of conduct, no morals, no ethics. I can't be around these people. Then you got other people like, man, they get away with everything. See, see I knew that this, this God is for me. I knew all that bullshit I was doing had a reason. And, you know, I, I can be forgiven. And I can be forgiven in infinity. And I can keep doing what I'm doing because I believe. Man, fuck you. Because at the end of the day, there's right and there's wrong. You know, you can do right. And you can do wrong. If you can be, if you can have humility when you're doing right. And the ability to atone when you're doing wrong, then that's okay. But if you're doing right, you, you like, you're doing a touchdown dance like this. I'm the champ. And then when you're doing wrong, you sitting there like, yeah, I did it. Yeah, I did it in the first Corinthians. It says you're going to have to forgive me seven times seven. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to hear that shit, man. Slap the shit out you, man. Um, I'm done, man. I think it's a complete utter tragedy and utter mockery of what's right in life. You know, and if it's exactly how it's been reported, dude, ain't shit. Yeah, fuck him.